because there is a very new and very interesting story out of this state, New Jersey. The richest man in New Jersey is moving to Florida and he pays so much in taxes that it's going to screw up possibly the entire state budget. Robert Frank is a name that is known to our viewers. It certainly is. That name is David Tepper. Now, in December, he filed a declaration with the state of New Jersey saying that he was officially a resident of the state of Florida. Now, he also, as of January 1st, filed a declaration saying that Appaloosa Management was now officially headquartered in Florida. Florida, of course, has no income tax. This has a huge impact on the state of New Jersey. Uh, just, just take a look. The New Jersey income tax comprises about 40% of all revenues, and the top 1% pay about a third of that income tax. And we have a statement today from Frank Haynes. He's a legislative budget and finance officer to the Senate Budget and Appropriations Committee of New Jersey. He says, quote, we may be facing an unusual degree of income tax forecast risk if news reports are true that the person ranked by Forbes as the wealthiest man in New Jersey has shifted personal and business domicile to another state. So an unusual degree of income tax forecast could change based on Mr. Tepper's move. Now, I am told it should be added that Mr. Tepper moved not for tax reasons, but to be closer to his mom and sister who are in Florida. It's, who are there for tax reasons. No, it, it, I mean, it's very convenient, though, that it works out that way. you got to think that a lot of other states out there, Robert, who also have the same tax policy, will be starting to woo some of these mega billionaires who don't need to be in a particular state to trade their book. Florida has had a very concerted and successful effort luring specifically hedge fund guys. I mean, you've seen Cooperman down there. You've seen a lot of the big guys moving. And I see them down there more and more. I think in the next year we're going to see some big names move down there. But you see, I mean, this is a guy who earned $3.5 billion in 2014. New Jersey income tax rate is 8.9%. So it's over $95 million that he contributed to the New Jersey state coffers Alone. in one year. Wow. So you see why this matters. So literally the residents of New Jersey, of which I am one, could see a slight uptick in taxes if the budget remains the same. Or decline in services. Or decline in services. You assume there are services. Just because Tepper Just is moving to Florida. The, the Tepper effect, exactly. The Tepper effect. You know, this is a serious issue because in this asset light world, I call it geographic arbitrage. You don't have to live and work where you Anywhere. used to yeah. anymore. Exactly. And if you've got an industry that is asset light, intellectual capital heavy, well, like hedge funds, all you need is a fiber optic line but and a jet. This is right. a much bigger issue. This folds into that we are talking about tax inversions, trying to get a lower tax rate by inverting your company, moving your domicile, and also the Panama Papers, the effort to hide money out there. Tepper it's is all inverted. wrapped up in the same issue. In a way, Tepper is sort of inver I mean, inverting South. And like it's a also, lot of people do. you know, you, you can you, he can work in New Jersey for several months of the year. A lot of his top team can remain in New Jersey. But just by moving, I mean, that robs the state of a huge amount of income. But you're right. Technology is mobile. Mm -hmm. People are mobile. And these, north and then, e these northeast states, these northeast states, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts to a point, they're going to continue to have a net outflow of population, yeah. thus increasing the financial burden on the people that remain until they learn. Money is going to learn. Money goes where it's treated best. And right exactly. now, it's treated best in Florida. It's also 23 degrees in New Jersey. That today. helps. <laughs> yeah. Robert, thank you, Robert. Thank you, guys. Tyler's live at uh, Iconic in Seattle, the new big business summit with Mr. Wonder.